This cave was once a favorite attraction until one man got trapped inside and things didn't end well. Found south of Salt Lake City, Utah, in 1960, Nutty Putty Cave was a local favorite for college students and Boy Scout groups, drawing 5,000 visitors annually. John Edward Jones, a 26-year-old medical student and father, met a horrible end in 2009 when he became stuck upside down inside a narrow fissure and was unable to be freed. Nutty Putty Cave has been shut down ever since, and as Jones's remains could not be retrieved, the location is now regarded as a grave. All that's left of Jones for visitors to Nutty Putty today is a plaque honoring him and a concrete sealer covering the cave entrance. Spelunking with this family was always a favorite pastime of John Edward Jones. When they were younger, his father regularly took him and his brother, Josh, on caving excursions in Utah. The boys came to appreciate the gloomy beauty and depths of the subterranean. Regretfully, the initial exploration of Nutty Putty Cave, situated around 55 miles from Salt Lake City in southwest of Utah Lake, by John Edward Jones, proved to be his final one. On November 24, 2009, Jones entered Nutty Putty Cave, but he was soon trapped in a tight space. Rescuers desperately attempted but were unable to liberate him for 28 hours. John Edward Jones passed away inside Nutty Putty Cave on November 25. Jones's body was then trapped inside the cave by its owners in an effort to stop such tragedies from occurring in the future. The night of November 24, 2009, a few days before Thanksgiving, John Edward Jones entered Nutty Putty Cave at approximately 8, 8 p.m. local time. As a means of strengthening their relationship before the vacation, John, who was 26 at the time, and Josh, who was 23 at the time, opted to visit Nutty Putty Cave with nine other friends and family members. John was at his best when he was 26 years old. He was in Virginia for medical school, married, and had a one-year-old kid. His family was expecting him back for a restful holiday season, so he returned home to Utah. Things did not go as planned. John hadn't visited a cave in years. Moreover, he had grown from being a young child to being six feet tall and 200 pounds. The birth canal is a narrow passage that spelunkers must crawl through carefully if they dare, as John discovered it around an hour into the caving excursion. He made his way inside the little opening by crawling forward with his hips, stomach, and fingers after discovering what he believed to be the birth canal. Yet, he understood he had made a serious error in a few minutes. At this point, John realized he was pretty well stranded and had nowhere to go. There was not even space for him to squirm back out the way he had entered. It was up to him to try and push on. He attempted to release his chest's contents in order to squeeze through a gap that was only slightly larger than a clothes dryer's opening, roughly 10 inches across and 18 inches high. However, John became permanently lodged as he breathed in again and his chest expanded. The first person to find John Edward Jones was his brother. Josh made unsuccessful attempts to tug on his brother's calves. John, however, slipped down into the passageway even farther and found himself even more stuck. He was now immobile, his arms locked beneath his torso. Josh eventually stumbled in the direction of the cave's exit in an attempt to find assistance. John was still in prison 400 feet into the cave and 100 feet below the surface of the earth, nevertheless, even after assistance arrived. It took an hour to move personnel, tools, and supplies that far. More than a hundred rescue workers toiled tirelessly for the next 24 hours to extricate John Edward Jones from the depths of Nutty Putty Cave. Their best idea was to attempt to extricate John from his extremely tight situation using a system of pulleys and ropes. There was not much time left with John Edward Jones stuck inside the cave. Thus the heart must work extremely hard to continuously pump blood out of the brain when the body is positioned right side up. Gravity takes care of the job and the heart is spared. John's body was under a great deal of stress due to the downward angle at which he was trapped. John's rescuers bound him with a rope that was fastened to several pulleys. Everything was prepared, and they exerted maximum force during the pull. However, one of the pulleys collapsed abruptly and without prior notice. There was no longer a rope and pulley operation, no alternative workable strategy for the rescuers, and John was stuck. Just before midnight on November 25, 2009, John was declared deceased from cardiac arrest. There was no chance of survival and his heart had been under constant stress because of his descending position. In an attempt to save John, rescuers had worked for 27 hours. 
In spite of the tragic news, his family thanked the rescuers for their assistance. John Edward Jones's Natural Memorial and Tumor located in Nutty Putty Cave, which is currently closed up.